Miss Parsons, just fill out this form and the doctor will be right with you. Have a seat. God is watching over us. You will let us land safely. God is watching over us. You will let us land safely. Excuse me? What? Uh, oh, sorry. It's just something I say when I'm anxious. Um, well, on a plane. <laughs> Nervous flyer. Um, just thought it might help me relax. I'm just going to swab your cervix to check and see if there's any infections. Oh, um... <laughs> Oh, this is just my assistant, uh, Justine. She's just going to take some pictures. Guess there isn't really a good side when it comes to my vagina, huh? <laughs> well, the good news is, is I think you have a very mild case of vaginismus. God, really? I feel like every time I have sex, it's like a knife stabbing me and... Sometimes I can't even wear a tampon without it hurting. I mean, that's mild. Some women can't even get a Q-tip up there. Your pelvic muscles only feel slightly tight to me. Are you bathing before you're using your dilator? Well... Okay, how often are you using those dilators? Oh, I can do this. No way. Those things look like Russian nesting dolls. Don't think I want to be the winner of that babushka game, if you know what I mean. I mean, besides, do the number of times really matter? Okay, how long can you keep this in? Is it seconds? Minutes? And I think I could eventually do it for minutes. How's PT going? And you said you weren't sexually abused at all as a child. No, I mean, not that I know of anyway. But I was a preemie. Does that matter? I don't know. Every time I have a health problem, my mom swears it's because I was born 10 weeks early. Like maybe everything didn't form right or something. No, that shouldn't matter. Whoa. You really want me to have some hippie woman finger me for 30 minutes? I mean, buy me a drink first, am I right? Carrie, physical therapy is vital to carrying the sexual dysfunction. So there's really nothing else you can do? Well, the last option is Botox. Geez, I mean, I guess I am turning 40 this year. No, we'd inject Botox into the vaginal walls to ease some of the tension. But that's going to cost... That's the downside to this condition. That's the downside? Um, you're okay with my rate going up to $500, right? Still extra for labs. Well, uh... So make sure you're using those dilators at least a couple times a week. Ideally, every day. Maybe put a favorite TV show on. You know what I just discovered? Peaky Horn? Blinders. Sexy. Mm. Don't worry, I've treated over 17,000 women with pelvic pain, so you're in good hands. Literally. <laughs> you know, because your hands were just all up in me. Um, anyway, Doc, uh, I'll see you soon. Um, just got to go sell my kidney on the black market. <laughs> You know. Right. Hi, Mom. Hi, Carrie Kate. How was the doctor yesterday? What did he have to say? Just the usual, you know, keep using the dilators and going to PT. Did you tell him about you being a preemie? Yes, Mom. When you were little, you used to have to sit on the potty chair forever. I used to have to bring you dinner because you never went to the bathroom. 
but what came out of you was enormous. Oh, gross. Ugh, I have to go to therapy anyway. Goodbye. Ugh. Oh, hey there, Care. How's it going? Hey, Dr. B, what's up? Are you in a penis or vagina mood today? Definitely not vaginas. I think my vagina probably is going viral on some medical website. Yeah. Well, so you made it to PT again. That's great. Um, tell me, how did it go? Any better than the first time? Um, I don't know, Dr. B. I mean, this whole pelvic floor thing just isn't my jam. I mean, how is my vagina supposed to open up during all these invasive procedures? Like, I don't even let my doctor stick a Q-tip up my nose for COVID testing. <gasps> no. I mean, we got it on the third try, but I was sitting on my hands by that point. God, I used to do that as a kid. Slap my doctors <laughs> when I had to do a strep test. Mm, poor Dr. Lloyd. Uh, Barbara? Dr. B? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, you were saying? I don't know, it's just all too much. You have no control over it. Uh, but that's where PT, dilators, and our work comes in to help you reach your ultimate goal. Which is? Well, to have sex. <laughs> well, pain-free sex, that is. Does the idea of penetrative sex still bring you a lot of anxiety? Why would you say that? <laughs> hmm. I guess it's just that it never gets any easier, you know? Tell me more. Telling someone new that I have vaginismus, explaining what vaginismus is, and then trying to have sex with someone and pretending everything's fine, let alone great. I mean, what idiot named it vaginismus anyway? It sounds like I have a freaking dinosaur living down there. Like, rawr. I mean, what if I can never have sex? And I'll never get married? Oh my God, or have children? <sighs> Great, just one thing Nance needs. Not to become a grandmother. Let's not go there just yet. The important thing is you finally have a diagnosis and can work on feeling better after all of these years. I guess so. Be kind to yourself. Treating any form of pelvic pain is a journey that takes a lot of patience and persistence. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. So what have you learned this week? Besides the fact that my mother has probably signed me up for every baby registry since the early 2000s. But this is going to be a really long, hard, painful road. And how is your vagina feeling now? Tired. <laughs>